so hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome to another session of pib 247 in today's class in today's session we are going to talk about the pib news from 21st and 22nd of november 2022 so without any delay let's begin with the session and if you want to have the pdf of this session you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description of this telegram channel okay and here you will get the pdf mil with marked answers right so let's begin with very first question which says consider the following statements regarding network readiness index and you have to identify the correct statement so this network readiness index what is what does this index tell कि ये क्या बताता है हमें ये बताता है कि कोई भी कंट्री राइट दिस इंडेक्स टेल्स दैट कोई भी कंट्री जो है वो कितना प्रिपेयर है इन द एरिया ऑफ टेलीकम्युनिकेशन और नेटवर्किंग राइट जो नेटवर्क बेस है उस कंट्री का वो कितना स्ट्रांग है दिस इंडेक्स टेल्स अस दैट हाउ मच स्ट्रांग इज द नेटवर्क बेस ऑफ एनी पर्टिकुलर कंट्री एंड इट हैज बीन रिलीज्ड इट हैड बीन प्रिपेयर्ड बाय अ वाशिंगटन बेस्ड इंस्टीट्यूट व्हिच इज नोन एज व्हाट पोर्टुलेंस इंस्टीट्यूट एंड रिमेंबर इट इज अ नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन right it is a not for profit organization and we are discussing about this because india has improved in it and it was mentioned in one of the pib releases and it was announced by the ministry of telecommunication as well right so that is why we are talking about it so as per the recently released network readiness index of 2022 india has improved its position to 61st rank right or 6 slots humne improve kiya hai matlab last time we were at 67th rank now we are at 61st rank all right and this as i told you that this index mapped the network based readiness landscape of 131 economies which means how many countries were mapped 131 countries were uh, mapped by this index right and this index is based on four different pillars right which are divided into uh, 58 indicators so of course the name of 58 indicators is not required <coughs> just remember that there are four pillars which are technology people governance and impact right it is important do remember the name of these four pillars technology people governance and impact right moving ahead talking about the top performers so united states is at number one with score of 80.3 followed by singapore and sweden right what is india's rank as i already told you it is 61 but you have to remember the score as well right what is the score 51.19 and last time it was if i'm not wrong it was 49.74 right and india has a score higher than all the lower middle income countries group in all the pillars and sub pillars in all the pillars and sub pillars india has the highest score uh, among all the lower middle income countries right now talking more about India's performance, so India has secured first rank in AI talent concentration subpillar. India has secured second rank in mobile broadband internet traffic within the country and international internet bandwidth subpillar. Then third rank in annual investment in telecommunication services and domestic market size and fourth rank in ICT services exports. Right? If you remember this, then well and good. If you don't it, then also there is no issue. Because I don't think that they are going to ask anything from the sub pillar. But yes, do remember this one. This is important because India has secured first rank in AI talent concentration. Right. And also remember India has been ranked third out of 36 in the group of lower middle income countries after Ukraine and Indonesia. All right. Moving ahead to the question. Coming back to the question. Correct statement I identify karna hai. So India's position has decreased by six slots. No, it has not decreased. In fact, it has been improved. Its score has increased from 49.74 in 2021 to 51.19. Yes, this is absolutely correct. It is ranked first out of 36 in the group of lower middle income countries. No, not first. It is at rank third. All right, and it has secured first rank in AI talent concentration. Bilgul sahi baat hai, and fourth in ICT services export variables. And finally, <clears throat> it has a score higher than lower middle income countries group in all pillars and sub pillars. This is also correct, which means two, four, and five is the correct answer. So option D. Option D, guys, will be the correct answer. I hope this question is clear. Agar koi doubt ho to push lena. Let's talk about question number two then which is the only country in the world 
to receive excellence in leadership in family planning which in short is excel awards 2022 in the country category at international conference on family planning which took place in pattaya in thailand right so which is the only country in this world to get this award to receive this award which is known as excel awards in the country category right so india is the only country right india is the only country in this world and do remember that this international conference on family planning which uh, uh, took place in pattaya in thailand and this was the fifth uh, sixth such conference this was the sixth edition of this conference the first edition took place in the year 2009 in kampala and kampala is in uganda now this award has been given to india to recognize and applaud its effort in ensuring increased access and adoption of modern contraceptive technology or devices or methods and thereby significantly reducing the unmet need of family plan abhi humne nfhs 5 mein bhi dekha tha that we are improving in the area of unmet need for of family planning right so that is why this award has been given to the country now talking about this conference so it is the world's largest gathering of family planning and reproductive healthcare professionals the first conference took place in 2009 in kampala in uganda after that char aur ho chuke hain 2011 13 16 and 18 at these places which are men uh, mentioned here last one was also in kampala in uganda and now this was the sixth edition which took place in thailand and pattaya right so that is all about these awards and therefore the correct answer will be option d india india is the winner of this award moving ahead to question number 3 recently an mou has been signed between national education society for tribal student which in short is written as nest and 1m 1b foundation what is this 1m 1b it is 1 million for 1 billion 1 million for <clears throat> 1 billion right it is a not for profit organization us based right so an mou has been signed between these two organizations all right it was signed for a program to conduct capacity uh, to conduct training and capacity building programs for teachers and students of emrs eklavya model residential school in arn vr augmented reality and virtual reality the pilot phase of this program will be implemented in em rss of which states theek hai kaun se state mein iska pilot project naam uh, launch hua hai right so an mou has been signed between these two organization nest and 1m 1b foundation objective of this mou to provide training and capacity building to the teachers in the area of augmented reality and virtual reality right of the teachers from the eklavya model residential schools now what is this eklavya model residential school so if you want to know about the, these uh, eklavya model residential school school then you can search for anuj jindal government schemes there i have covered this scheme in a very detailed manner so aap wahan se jaake dekh sakte ho it is basically uh, these are special type of school which are meant for the tribal students only and it is these schools are being constructed across the country under a scheme which is known as eklavya model residential school scheme right and these schools are directly under uh the government of india through ministry of tribal affairs all right i hope this is clear now talking more about this mou so remember the pilot phase of this mou will be implemented in rajasthan and uttarakhand right rajasthan aur uttarakhand mein isko pilot mode mein launch kiya jayega and then it will be uh, implemented in the entire country all right an objective maine aapko bata diya to provide training in the area of ar and vr to the teachers of eklavya model residential schools all right so what would be the correct answer then uttarakhand and rajasthan dono mein ho raha hai again option d is the correct answer once again moving ahead to question number 4 where will be the 25th edition of national conference on e governance held with theme the bringing with theme bringing citizens industry and government closer now it will take place on the occasion of constitution day which uh, will be observed on 26th of november because that is the day when our constitution was adopted right so it will take place in jammu and kashmir in katra right there is a place katra in jammu and kashmir so this 25th edition of national conference on e governance will take place in katra in jammu and kashmir 
with this theme bringing citizens industry and government closer and it will be organized by department of administrative reforms and public grievances darpg along with ministry of information and technology mighty right ministry of Ele uh, electronics and technology which is headed by mr ashwini vaishnav and of course support will be also provided by the jammu and kashmir ut administration now who is the governor of uh, uh, jammu and kashmir please write down in the comments unke governor ka naam likh ke batao bhai comments mein so what will be the correct answer it will be option b katra katra is the correct answer guys to this question moving ahead to question number 5 Recently, Vineet Kumar took over the charge of charge as CEO of KVIC. We identify incorrect statements about KVIC. So, the important thing is that uh, Vineet Kumar has taken over as the uh, CEO of KVIC, right? So, हमें KVIC के बारे में भी थोड़ा जानना पड़ेगा because uh, we are studying the ESI current affairs and in that ESI topic, उसमें uh, ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के बारे में भी क्वेश्चन पूछा जाता है सो दैट इज वाई लेट्स टॉक अबाउट के वाई के वी आई सी इन इन ब्रीफ सो दी ओवरऑल ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ के वी आई सी गाइज इज टू क्रिएट सेल्फ रिलायंस अमंग्स पीपल एंड बिल्डिंग अप अ स्ट्रॉन्ग रूरल कम्युनिटी स्पिरिट विथ टू स्पेसिफिक ऑब्जेक्टिव वन इज सोशल एंड वन इज इकोनॉमिक द सोशल इकोनॉमिक ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ के वी आई सी इज टू प्रोवाइड एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन रूरल एरिया इज वेरी सिंपल एंड वेरी डायरेक्ट एंड द इकोनॉमिक ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ के वी आई सी इज टू प्रोवाइड सेलेबल articles right is to provide saleable articles to the beneficiaries right that is it. these are the objectives of kvic it was established in the year 1957 through kvic act of 1956 right the act was enacted in 1956 and one year later or few months later this was established which means it is a statutory body it is a statutory body and statutory bodies are those which are established through any act right its parent ministry is ministry of msme which is currently headed by narayan rane headquarters are in mumbai with six regional offices in delhi bhopal bengaluru kolkata mumbai and guwahati these are the six regional offices of kvis all right so that is all and we have to identify incorrect statement about kvic it is a statutory body established in 57 under kvic act of 56 correct it serves as apex organization with regard to kvic खादी एंड विलेज इंडस्ट्री विद इन इंडिया ये भी ठीक है इट फंक्शन अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट नो दिस इज इन करेक्ट इट फंक्शन अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एम एस एम ई सो ऑप्शन सी गाइज विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर आगे चलते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स पे रिसेंटली यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर एडेड बाय मनसुख मंडाविया हु इज ऑल्सो द मिनिस्टर ऑफ केमिकल एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स राइट has announced country's first national suicide prevention strategy now this was very much required in the country because humne dekha hai that the rate of suicide is too much high in the country by which year it has proposed the time bound action plans and multi sectoral collaborations to achieve reduction in suicide mortality by 10% jo bhi abhi current suicide mortality hai usko 10% kam kar diya jayega aur uh, by 10% kam kar diya jayega by which year right so Let's talk about this strategy. Remember, it has been launched by Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, right? And the target is that we are that we want to achieve the reduction in suicide mortality by ten percent by the year two thousand and thirty. Two thousand thirty till then, ये जो suicide mortality है हम इसको दस परसेंट कम कर देंगे. That is the target behind this strategy. Now talking about this strategy, so the broad objectives. of this strategy number one is to establish effective surveillance mechanism for suicide within the next 3 years so that we can easily track the people who are you know jo ki uh, self sabotaging hai right then number two to establish psychiatric opds to provide suicide prevention services through district mental health programs right through what through district mental health programs in all the district within next 5 years Right then to integrate a mental health wing curriculum in all educational institution within the next eight years, and finally it envisages developing guidelines for responsible media reporting of suicides and restricting access to media access to means of suicide. Right, 
सो so बेसिकली यही है कि आराम से जाके हम रस्सी खरीद लेते हैं और लटक जाते हैं पंखे में तो अगर रस्सी नहीं होगी ना तो रस्सी होगी ना मैं लटकूंगा या मैं कोई ऐसी दवाई खरीद लाता हूँ बिना प्रिस्क्रिप्शन के और केमिस्ट मुझे इजिली दे देता है ना ऐसा होगा ना मैं सुसाइड अटेम्प करूंगा राइट एंड देर आर वेरियस अदर मीन्स ऑफ सुइसाइड जिसके थ्रू बहुत इजिली सुइसाइड लोग कर लेते हैं राइट मूविंग हेड नाउ रिमेम्बर इट दिस स्ट्रेटेजी आउटलाइंस रेड स्पाथ फॉर सुसाइड प्रिवेंशन एंड दिस रेड स्पाथ दिस रेड स्पाथ इंटेंस टू री इनफोर्स लीडरशिप पार्टनरशिप एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल कैपेसिटी एनहेंस कैपेसिटी ऑफ हेल्थ सर्विसेस डेवलप कम्युनिटी रेजिलियंस एंड सोसाइटल सपोर्ट टू रिड्यूस द केसेस ऑफ सुइसाइड एंड टू स्ट्रेंथन द सर्वीलेंस एंड एविडेंस जनरेशन राइट सो बेसिकली रेड्स स्टैंड फॉर री इनफोर्स एनहेंस डेवलप एंड स्ट्रेंथन और राइट एंड दिस स्ट्रैटेजी विल बी फोकस्ड on these priority areas number 1 the uh, it will reduce the easy access to suicide modes theek hai jaisa maine aapko example diya it will strengthen the health system for suicide prevention because there are certain cases of suicides jahan pe depression ki wajah se anxiety ki wajah se bhi suicidal cases hote hain so to we can reduce at least those cases by strengthening the mental health system of the country all right sensitization through media ठीक है और ये जितने भी सोशल मीडिया इवन मीडिया इन सब पे जो सुइसाइड्स के जो आइडिया लेके लोग करते हैं इट शुड बी स्टॉप्ड एंड स्ट्रेंथनिंग सुइसाइड सर्विलेंस राइट नाउ कमिंग बैक टू द क्वेश्चन सो वी वांट टू रिड्यूस सुसाइड मोर्टेलिटी बाय टेन परसेंट बाय द ईयर 2030 ऑप्शन सी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर मूविंग अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन वे विल बी फोर्थ एडिशन ऑफ द इंडो पैसिफिक रीजनल डायलॉग विल टेक प्लेस थोड़ी सी गड़बड़ी हो गई दस आई एल करेक्ट ठीक है वेर विल इट टेक प्लेस बेसिकली विद द थीम ऑपरेशनलाइजिंग द इंडो पैसिफिक ओशन इनिशियट राइट सो यू जस्ट हैव टू टेल वेर विल दिस फोर्थ एडिशन ऑफ इंडो पैसिफिक रीजनल डायलॉग टेक प्लेस विद दिस थीम सो इट विल टेक प्लेस इन द कैपिटल न्यू डेली ऑप्शन ई विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट पे आते क्वेश्चन नंबर एट से What is the name of online orientation course or module which has been recently launched by Prime Minister Modi to enhance knowledge, skills, and competencies of all new appointees in various government departments to enhance their knowledge, skills, and competencies? It has been launched as a part of Mission Karma Yogi. I hope you all know about this Mission Karma Yogi. It is for uh, building capacity of the uh, class A officers of the country. राइट right? क्लास ऑफिसर्स की कैपेसिटी बिल्ड करने के लिए उनको अच्छी ट्रेनिंग प्रोवाइड कराने के लिए देर इज दिस मिशन कर्मयोगी एंड अंडर दिस मिशन कर्मयोगी दिस मॉड्यूल हैज बिन लॉन्च एंड इट हैज बिन नेम्ड एज कर्मयोगी प्रारंभ ऑप्शन सी अगेन विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर एंड गाइज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे वे वॉज द मेड एन एट इंडिया एसी इंडिया आसियान डिफेंस मिनिस्टर्स मीटिंग वॉज हेल्ड uh to commemorate the 30th anniversary of india asean relations in 2022 which has also been designated as india asean friendship year ye maine aapko pehle bhi bataya tha that 2022 is the india asean friendship year and this defense minutes mr meeting took place in cambodia at a place cm reef option d is the correct answer all right so that is all for today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next session on monday till then keep watching anujindal dotin bye bye take care and god bless